Hey, Boaz here with Next Pittsburgh. We are here on the field at Highmark Stadium with the Pittsburgh Riverhounds, of course, our favorite hometown soccer team, or some people call them football team, just to keep it confusing. I don't know. We've got a special installment of Yinzer Backstage Pass. They are letting us wander the stadium. They say we can open any door we want, so we're going to check out the locker room. I think we're going to talk to the team president. We're going to learn a little bit about concessions. Maybe we'll even talk to a player. So, you know what? I'm just going to start walking this direction, and we'll see what I find. So the locker room is right in here, and we've got special permission to check it out. We're supposed to meet Matt Grubba, who's the director of communications. I think he should be in here. Let's see. Oh my gosh, Matt, thanks for inviting us to your locker room. Oh, welcome. <laughs> got Annie behind the camera, come on in. Okay, so we're seeing a lot of, uh, a lot of clothes, a lot of donuts, a lot of shoes. Yeah, this is where everything happens. You know, the guys get ready in here. Uh, usually on a given day, they're uh, here at the stadium for practice and, and meetings. You know, about three, four hours every day, uh, just getting ready for the games each weekend. So is it like a somber space? Are you like, you know, in your head, like planning for the game, drinking some Powerade over here or something? Each different person has their own pregame routine. Some guys like listening to music. You can usually hear music. But, uh, you know, when you get into that last hour before game time, that's when everybody sort of buckles down. It gets a little more serious, like you said, a little more uh, game day focused. But, uh, yeah, everybody has their own routines that they prepare to. Some guys are more lighthearted. Some you don't want to talk to them before the game because they're one-track minds. And if a player is feeling sore after a game, maybe they'll take an ice bath in here or they could fill it with applesauce and have a really big snack. So everything I know about soccer I've learned from Ted Lasso, really. So is there a spot, like are they all standing here in the middle of the room and the, and the coach or assistant coach is giving them a pep talk or like, you know, they're coming in in the middle and be like, here's what we got to do. Not so much. I mean, the guys, if you, if you see, you've got the uh, sofas there and they'll have chairs in front of their locker room, but everybody focuses, you know, on the video screen up there and, and when coach is up, the, up front talking, it's getting all about getting all 11 guys that are on the field on the same page. And can you tell me about those giant inflatable yellow things over there? <laughs> well, you might see them on the field sometime. Uh, his name's Frank. Really? And yes, <laughs> there's actually three of them. They're all named Frank. And those are actually tools for our goalkeepers to use. They simulate just having, you know, players in front of goal, traffic to go through. Very big help to our goalkeepers in practice. Gosh, thanks for introducing us to Frank. Okay, behind me right now, Coach Bob just got to the field, and it looks like they're, they're having some sort of a huddle up. I don't know, I can only imagine he's giving a, a passionate speech, just like getting everybody pumped uh, for the week, for a week of practice. And this might be one of the most amazing parts uh, of our tour here of the stadium. Um, this is the laundry room where all the jerseys are laundered. I guess all the jerseys, all the towels, anything the players are using. And it's really just for... Pretty standard washing machines. Let me, is this all, looks like these are, what do we got? These are so fancy, I can't even tell. This is definitely a dryer. What do you think, Annie? How many of these are washers? How many of these are dryers? I think they're washers. They're all washers? Three washers, Three washers one dryer. You heard it here. This is the only place where you're going to get behind-the-scenes laundry news about Pittsburgh sports teams. Let's see what's down here. Okay, we've got Kenny, the team captain here, and you've been on the team for like five years. Yes. Yes, I've been here five years, since 2018. And before a game, do you have any, like, rituals you do or, like, lucky socks you wear? No, it's just more like what do I eat before the game because ever since I've been with Bob, it's always pasta, so I try to just keep it that way, pasta, Omar on the road. Because on the road, we always go to, like, an Italian restaurant, so yeah. I try to replicate that at home. So, like, Italian food before a game is sort of the thing. Yes. And do you listen to any music before? Yeah, I got a couple reggae, R&B, hip-hop, so I have a mixture, of, I have a good playlist. Do you have a favorite part of the stadium here? Yes, behind the goal, the Steel Army. Steel yeah. Army fans are amazing. Um, they're so close to the field and they give us good energy whenever we're going that way. And they're like so into it, they're so hardcore. Like it, you've been here for so many years, you must recognize a lot of them now. Yeah, I, I know a lot of them by name now. They always come up to me and we always have a nice chat, even at the beginning of the year we have a season ticket holder meeting upstairs where we introduce the players and a lot of the steel army is always there so we always have a nice chat and so when you were growing up in jamaica had you ever heard of pittsburgh honestly no yeah. <laughs> no um me and my friend was talking about that 
we, we didn't know anything about Pittsburgh, but we're here. Okay, if you could play for any of the other Pittsburgh sports teams, who would you want to play for? Steelers. Yeah. <laughs> Steelers. I'm not good at hockey and I'm not good at baseball. I think I could do something with the Steelers. Yeah, it's just another kind of football. Yes, yes. I just learned a crazy piece of trivia that I want to share with you. So Matt here asked, what is the most popular item? What food item are they selling the most of at a game? And I guessed the beer, maybe this amber lager, the Riverhound special one that they make here. Um, and uh, he said, no, that actually isn't right, even though it is delicious. In fact, the food item that they are selling the most of at games is Dippin' Dots. How about that? Ice cream of the future. Now we're hanging out here on the party deck with Vic Gregovitz, who you've been the team president for just over a year. Just over a year. I've been back. I'm a Pittsburgh native, and it's been great to come back. I started in indoor soccer here with the Pittsburgh Spirit a long time ago, so it's been fun. So what does a team president do? Like, what does a regular day look like? Well, there's no regular days. That's the fun part about it. So I oversee the business operations uh, of the team. So it's, it's really everything from sales of tickets to sponsorships to in-game entertainment to the facility. And we, we rent the facility on a frequent basis as well here at Highmark Stadium. Has anyone ever gotten married here? Has anyone ever booked it for a wedding? We, we have had it weddings, concerts, all different types of events here, yes. Wow. Okay, well, can you show us inside your office and yeah. see where, no. where all these important decisions get made? Sure. And this is like, I, I feel like the, the classic scenario where you go up there, you give a press conference. This is where uh, the coach on, on a game night gives the uh, post-game press conference. And then we also, this we're set up here, the players have a post-game meal after the game. Oh, really? Yep. What, like, what's on the menu for dinner? Uh, usually uh, high protein, um, some type of chicken, some, uh, some vegetables, and don't think they get dessert, but yeah. could, there could be there because uh, it's post-game, yeah. Now, do you ever watch Ted Lasso, or have you seen it? I, I have not watched it yet. I know that I need to, but I'm not a subscriber, so... Yeah. <laughs> feels like Matt hasn't watched it either. Maybe you should just get a, like a, a subscription for the team. We should have, yeah, and we should have a get-together to watch it. So this is my office uh, right here. Great view of the field, and uh, I get to watch practice every day when the players are out here or when we have youth soccer throughout the day as well. So this is, uh, this is where I hang out. And do you ever play soccer yourself? I did not grow up playing soccer. I've worked in soccer a couple of times, but... Um, but I have, I've coached it with my kids, but, but I haven't played it. Have you coached soccer with your kids recently? Uh, it's, been, it's been about 10 years, but okay, yeah. Not yeah. since you've had this job. No, no, not since then. I feel like if the team president of the Riverhounds is your coach, that team better be winning. There'd be too much pressure on, <laughs> on that one. But yeah, and then here, as you can see, I mean, uh, I can have guests in here for games and have a, a great vantage point of the game from here. Well, honestly, I, I roam a lot during the, uh, during the game. I like to, to talk to the fans. I like to get input from the fans and, uh, and just make sure that everything's, the experience is great. I mean, that's what we're really focused on this year is the fan experience, so we want to make sure that that's top-notch. And have you ever been inside the mascot costume? I have not. <laughs> I have not. I've, I've been in a concession stand in our merchandise store, but, but not the mascot costume yet. Is there anything we should be looking forward to this season? Any, any cool things happening? I know you just mentioned that there's a new sort of place to hang out on the field. Yeah, there's a variety of things. We have our tailgate zone that you can come to before the game. With We have a couple of food trucks out there as well as our smoker with ribs. And we just put a party suite on the field a couple of weeks ago. And that one is really just starting to take off with our partner uh, Icy Light. No, it's just a great atmosphere, uh, and right here on the river, the backdrop's phenomenal. Sweet. Thanks so much. All right. Thank you. And this is the visitor's locker room, but it's not only the visitor's locker room for, you know, visiting teams who are here to play the Riverhounds. It's also the home locker room for Pitt Lacrosse. Champions win here. Now, it seems like the real competition is that they're like a Nike team, and then the, the home you know, locker room is an Adidas locker room. I don't know if there's like a little competition there. And that's what we learned with the Riverhounds at Highmark Stadium. So make sure to get some Dippin' Dots next time you're here. Keep that uh, average up for that snack, and uh, we'll see you next time.